We all know those multi-tenant sites sitting in front of shopping malls and strip malls in all different shapes and sizes. And today I want to show you how you can create those in a Right Everywhere tutorial in City Skylines 2. And this is the shopping mall we want to create a sign for in my City of Chaos Hills. And this is maybe a good place for it. First thing we need to do is grab the Right Everywhere mod on PDX Mods. And then we go to stickpng.com for some free PNG files with transparent background, for example, Starbucks. And then we go into our Clyde's mods, white area images, Atlas folder, and import all those images we need, for example, the Starbucks one. There it is. Okay, back into the game, we need to go into options and then scroll down to right area. And then we have to hit the refresh all sprites button so all the new images get imported into the game and back into the game all should be fine then we need to find prop it doesn't matter really what i use this block which i had sunken down into the road then we click ctrl shift w to open the right everywhere tool click this block and then we can add the first note little side note you can also add images while you're in the game anyway let's create our first item and then we go immediately into content type and change it to the white texture because we want to create a sign we can change the width of it maybe 300 by 100 is a nice sign size you can play around with this we bring it up so we can see where it is it was hidden into the ground and then we maybe bring it a little bit forward until we have it in a good position and I think this is a nice position for our first sign to start with. You can also save it as a template if you want. I will show you how it works. You don't have to do this, but if you want it for later, it's maybe a good idea. So let's export it as an XML file. Let's name it to something like blank sign 01 or something like this. And then we can, if we want, load it back into the game. So we import it, look for it and there it is and there we go we have another one loaded into the game but what you can also do is copy and paste it so if you only want for this one city this is fine as well we can also rename it so we have a better overview so maybe i don't know let's call this simply sign zero one and the next one is sign zero two and we have a second sign which is at the same spot like the first one so we have to bring it up and there we go we have the second sign so our new multi-tenant sign takes shape i think we will create four different signs and then you can of course extend it the way you want but for my purpose and for showing you how it works i think we can go with four signs so let's repeat this process and create two more signs and you can always pause the video and go back if you have missed anything this is fine so now we have uh, four different signs we just have to adjust the height of it so let's grab the sign number three and bring it up like so so we have the third sign and then we go to sign number four and bring it even further up and this is basically our big signage now we want of course some company logos so we start with sign 4 we click on it and add an empty as children root and there we go we have a text we can of course change it into an image because we imported some images now you have the image placeholder at the right space then we go into our image atlas folder i have a chirpy's image yeah i want to add some chirpy because we have a chirpy stores in the background and there it is our first sign it has the right size already this is fine so we go to the next sign i want to create a mcdonald's sign maybe i have sally's mcdonald's right area arc somewhere there it is and the difference here we don't want the white background so we can go to the sign three click on it and change the color for a nice dark green for a nice mcdonald's color so you just click on the main color and then you can play around with the color and 
oh, immediately I think this is almost perfect. You could play around with it, but I mean, I'm happy how it turned out. So we leave the second sign how it is. And for the next sign, I think we can add our new Starbucks logo, which we grabbed. And if you like what you see, please give this video a quick like and maybe you subscribe to my channel as well. This would be lovely. Thank you so much. So now we go again into the image atlas folder. I added another folder into the image atlas folder, which is called stores. And into the stores folder, there is my Starbucks logo. And size wise, it is fine again. And the white background is good again as well. And since we have a Chirp Air company, my own decal pack, I want to add a Chirp Air sign as well. So we look again into my Chirp piece folder and I added this Chirp Air front sign. And you can see this is too big now. So we have to adjust the size. You can, of course, just make it bigger or smaller. But if you see, if I make it only 80% or even, I don't know, 70 or 60, it is not high enough for to fill out the whole sign. So you can go into the advanced size tool and make it fit. Of course, it has some other dimensions, but this is how you can do this as well. Okay, now we need this stuff from the other side, 180 degree turned around. But this is not as hard as you may think. Just click on the sign. You can see the logos attached to our white blank sign. And now we need to copy the whole stuff. Just click on copy. If you click the sign one and click on paste and choose the first option. And then we have the same, the exact same copy of sign one at the exact same spot. And now we have to turn it around by 180 degrees. So we go into the rotation and the middle one. And there we go with a 180 degree turn. We have it there. We can adjust it just a little bit. And if you like what you see, if you like to see me detail them on Twitch as well, I have a Discord. If you want to chat with me, would be cool if I meet you there. And now let's quickly finish off the other signs. And there we have it. We have those signs from both sides. And now we need to add or create a frame for this sign, right? This is what we do. We go into a new item and we create a white cube. Then we have to find a white cube. It's hidden inside this prop again. And then we have to adjust the sides of it, adjust the width, the height and the depth so we can create a nice frame. Just play around how you like it. I try to make it work. Oh, that's too high. And then I can just copy this one and bring it on the other side of the side. So the first pill of the frame is done. I want to change color a little bit. We can make it a little bit metallic looking if you want. So we can adjust the metallic bar. First of all, let's choose a gray brownish color. You can of course choose the color you want. I go with, I don't know, I go with this color, little wooden, I don't know. And let's make it a little bit metallic. So you can just play around with the sliders a little bit. And then I copy and pasted it to the other side. And now we need an upper part of this frame. So we copy it again and just change the dimensions drastically. So we have a horizontal lying frame as an upper part of this sign. So let's do this real quick. And this is basically the last part of it. Then we are done in under 10 minutes with our first sign. And you can easily re replace the different parts of the sign if you want to change up your shops or expand the sign. This is no problem with right area. I hope you liked what you see. And if you want to support me, you can become a YouTube member of my channel. It's only 99 cents. So thank you for considering and have a good one. I hope I see you back here in my next video. I'm Chaos Fun. Bye bye.